If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Portland, Oregon and the suburbs, tap the bell for notifications and subscribe below. Um, I'm Casey Rowland with EXP and we get calls and emails and texts every day from people just like you looking to make your move to Oregon and we love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, make an appointment. We would love to help make your move to Oregon as smooth as absolutely possible. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna check out Beaverton, um, which is just, it's an absolutely growing suburb of Portland. Um, it used to be like very, very suburban. And what they've done in the last decade is make it much more uh, communal in a way. So you can see a lot more parks, um, a lot more restaurants, tons of outdoor dining now available, which is super common in Oregon which is ironic considering the amount of rain we get here. But during the spring and summer, everyone loves to eat outside and just take advantage of it. So anyway, um, in Beaverton now, there's about a population of about 97,000 people. Um, said that the average income, I got two different readings. One of them said 87 one of them said 91,000 so 40% uh, of the people here would be not having families that means like 60% of people are living here with families and that you can kind of tell by the atmosphere demographics and um, it, there's a lot of families there's great schools um, and just a lot of a lot of activities sports sports complexes um, and just a lot of things to do. Anyway, like I said, so what used to be a much more suburban feel has kind of opened up in the city of, city town of Beaverton. You'll see farmer's markets here on the weekends, pride events, uh, different cultural festivals, and uh, walks for NAMI and other uh, social justice organizations. Uh, so let's get on to the rest of our tour. So you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, but don't know necessarily if you want to be within Portland city limits. Today we're going to check out Beaverton, Oregon, which according to Nish is the fifth most popular suburb city of Portland. Today we're going to drive through some of the neighborhoods check out some different homes and different price points so that you can see if Beaverton is the right suburb for you to, to, to live in. Um, if you stick around to the end, we're gonna show you some of the best kept secrets of living in Beaverton. So let's get after it. We are going to start here with a condo, 6219 Southwest 17th here in Beaverton. It is a two bedroom, one bath, 2178 square feet for 325. It also has a garage, an entryway. It is perfectly located to get to everything you need to get. Uh, schools, shopping, grocery stores, public transit, amenities by walk, car, or bicycle. Any time of day, sometimes there'll be more traffic than others, obviously, but you, with your own parking spot, will always have a place to park and the one thing to consider with this 
spot is that the HOA is $626 a month. Next, we have 14890 Southwest Carlsbad in Beaverton. This property is a 3 2 with 1,768 square feet, listed at 610. We'll have a combination of updates and possible needs, like roof here, but like very charming. A lot of Beaver 10, it's a combination of older homes and newer neighborhoods um, and a lot of a lot of variants, a lot of fill-ins with what used to be double lots becoming single lots, etc. So this one's kind of a combo. There's a lot of updates on the inside. It went pending after nine days and uh, it is just above the median price here in Beaverton which would be 550 so not including condos and other townhomes, other homes like that. But here we have our next 610, a 3-2 on a great, quiet, old tree neighborhood street next to a park. as well as schools. One five four eight five Southwest Cynthia. Here we have a three bedroom, three bath home, just over 2,100 square feet. Uh, it is listed at 810,000 and it actually has been on the market for 23 days, which is just a smidge above days on market average for the price point at this time. But it is fully remodeled interior. You can see, I think that the road on to the left of us has a little bit to do with that people can drive and I guess that wasn't too fast but sometimes people would rather be on the more secluded side of the cul-de-sac so uh, fully updated we have city city sewer city water so in Washington County you'll find some homes do not this all the ones that we've seen today do and when we get out to the Hillsboro videos, that's when you'll see some, and I'll point out that there are septic systems. Some, not as many, will have wells. Anyway, this one, 810,000, a three bedroom, three bath, on the market here in Beaverton, close to, um, close to everything you'll need. Great access to, the Nike World Campus and the Intel campuses, which you'll find a lot of a lot of colleagues in the neighborhood. So um, on to the next. Finishing up here, we're going to stop at the Nike World Campus here at One Bowerman in uh, Beaverton, Oregon. This is the World Campus for Nike. That up there is a track, but I thought it would be perfect because a lot of people actually do move to Oregon for, um, for work, for working at Nike, for working at Intel, which also has multiple campuses here. Uh, so at 
for 2023, there's about 97, 98,000 people here. Uh, and a lot of people come to the suburbi, suburban city of Beaverton town, depending on, uh, depending on who you ask, for, for some of these major employers and for a suburban, urban, not too far out, really great quality of life. And that has, it's the cost of living's per, per, pretty consistently gone up, but it's still um, a little more affordable than Portland, Oregon, and it's a different lifestyle and demographics. Meanwhile, you are about an hour from the coast. You are, you live in 19, about 19 square miles surrounded by trees and beautiful skies and great schools, both public and private, and moderate crime statistics and overall a pretty diverse considering Portland Metro being the more diverse part of the state of Oregon. Uh, with a very great, well, the infrastructure has gotten bigger and a little bit better. 26 is the freeway highway that goes inbound and meets up with I-5, Interstate 5, which you can take south all the way to, well, you, you know, well into Southern California. So anyway, Beaverton is one of the best suburbs to live in outside of Portland, Oregon call, text, email, all that's in the description, and we will happily take you around Beaverton in the Portland Metro.